Here's another edition of Animal Planet News. Less than 6,000 rhinos survive in protected parks in India and Nepal and in zoos around the world. But now rhinos are charging back from the brink of extinction, and they're doing it nature's way. Species survival programs have zoo rhinos courting like crazy. And when a couple of armored suitors whip up roughly a ton and a half of passion, well, something's going to come from that. Something like this. The threat is always there that some unrest, either political or some natural disaster, will wipe out the two remaining wild populations of these animals. So it's really important that we breed them in zoos. Some people say, well, why are they not just in the wild? Well, there is no wild for them to be in. There's very little space for them, and that's because of human activity. People have destroyed most of the rhino's natural habitat, and for centuries we hunted them nearly to extinction, believing wrongly that powdered rhino horn was a powerful aphrodisiac. Today's heavy-duty dating service seems to be working. Eight San Diego Zoo females are expecting or have given birth. There's a new baby at the Oklahoma Zoo and two more at the Fossil Rim Zoo in Texas. But none is cuter or muddier than Himal one of two Indian rhinos born at Washington's National Zoo. We hope to continue to breed these animals, not for reintroduction to the wild, but really, once again, as a, a safeguard against extinction in the wild. In Nepal, herds of wild rhinos are also starting to grow, proving that despite all that thick skin, when the mood is right, nature will take its course. And that's Animal Planet News.